Let's create this hole, different size of hole in spiral pattern with the help of variable pattern tool. See, there is a spiral lines. This line have multiple number of holes with different diameters. The whole diameter going to increase 0.5 gradually. Let's take one more variable pattern exercise with in the form of a spiral curve. See, diameter is same 100 millimeter thickness of plate 2 millimeter. Now there is a one detail view, but you will see the pattern. This is in a spiral form. See, the center hole is same. Now the hole is going to increase according to requirement. See at the end hole diameter 3.2 but at the start hole diameter 1 millimeter. Now you will see here the hole distance 15 degree and this is also 1 millimeter and 15 number of holes. Now there is a table. See a spiral vortex location table 1. Now the hole diameter going to increase by 0.2 millimeter in every step. You will see 1 to 1.2, 1.2 to 1.2. Similarly, the angle also going to increase 15 degree at every in increasing order. See, this is going to increase. And hole size, uh, number of holes are same. Now, spiral line angle 90 degree. Okay, this uh, spiral dimensions you will see. Start point, end point, pitch. 92 revolution 0 0.25 diameter 1 and 92 1 means the start point here 1 and uh, is ending point 92 you will see here this is radius 46.5 you see the diameter going to be 93 so let's do this now here i am going to choose top plane sketch activate circle and here draw two circle center circle is common so i am going to draw here 100 millimeter, 1 millimeter. Now simply extrude this body. I want to add material. So here keep end condition blind and here apply the thickness 2 millimeter. Say OK. Fine. Now here I want to create one spiral with the help of spiral and helix tool. So select this face, sketch. Now I am going to keep the same circle. 1 millimeter because the pitch is 0.5 go to sketch convert entity and here drop down and choose here helix and spiral see circle going to start at this point pitch 92 now here defined by spiral now pitch 92 millimeter given now the revolution from end revolution 0.5 Okay, start angle same clockwise. Let's see. Now look. Now you will see here 93 this diameter from here to here 93 and uh, revolution 0.5 you will see here and here diameter 1 millimeter. Fine. Okay. Now I want to draw a path then we will create hole here. So I'm going to select this face, sketch. Now simply choose this curve, convert entity and select the curve, make it construction. Now previous curve, let me hide. Okay, now see the curve. Line, draw on horizontal and line, draw one circle. Now this circle diameter 1 millimeter and angle for angle let me select this center point of circle and this line coincide relation. Now let's define this angle 15 degree see. Now apply extruded cut. Now here choose end condition through all. Okay. Now you will see here. See. Now go to variable pattern. 
Now here select the hole which you want to cut. Now the hole is selected. Now here you have two options. Okay. Now I'm not going to choose any geometry. I'm going to choose create table pattern. Now here I'm going to choose first diameter. See diameter selected here D1. Now again select this angle. See D2 is applied here. Now total how many 12 number of things. So here this is first one you have to add more 11. So here at bottom see add instances 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 just drop 11. Start from 0, so 11, total 12, okay. Now, come down, first diameter here, 1. Now, second diameter, add 0.2, so 1.2, enter. Now, select this both, just like Excel sheet. Now, select this corner and drag, just like Excel sheet. And see, 0.2 millimeter going to add in every step. Similarly, do this. Now here 30 degree, select both the and uh, drag, select the corner and drag up to end. See, F start angle 15, end angle 180. Start angle 1, uh, diameter 1 millimeter and 3.2. This is what it's shown. Now all the holes and diameter, everything is applied, angle and diameter, total 12 numbers. Now say update preview. Now, if you see, see, now here say OK, now here say OK, now these holes are created, now let's make more number of patterns, circular pattern, now here I am going to select this outer edge, 15 number of holes total throughout so for pattern either you can choose this one but this is unable to pattern the selected pattern so here one option called select faces to point pattern this is center keep as it is now here you can select all holes in this option select the internal face and the last hole total 12 number of holes okay say okay see now if you want to make uh, those uh, spiral line let me select this face a sketch select this one convert entity make this line And here go to option circular pattern. Now here select this center point 360 total number of patterns 15. Here select this curve. Now you will see say OK and exit. Now select this one right click and you can sketch color pink okay let me select the body color change from here any color let's say dark green okay see how we created this holes with the help of linear variable pattern feature i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.